And so the conjecture is then if you can start breaking them down into simpler, simpler ones, you should be able to come to concepts or conceptual building blocks that are like cognitive atoms. And if you can do that, can you classify them so that you know which ones will fit together? I, you know, can you do like the periodic table of the elements, but with cognitive elements? So it turns out you can, but in order to do it right and make it work, you have to really dive in and build upon the philosophies of epistemology and ontology. And those are practically forgotten. You certainly don't study them when you go to MIT and get you in AI. Yeah. But, uh, but that's what we did. Uh, that's how. And so I, you skip the the thought process. So let's create intelligence, and let's instead of creating intelligence, let's create knowledge because that's what that's what intelligence is trying to do anyway. Yeah, I mean that's the, the the. I mean, people have all sorts of notions about the word intelligence. Means they conflate it with consciousness and self awareness right. and sentience and all those things. But when the rubber meets the road, if if you look at how you know humans are, define ourselves as Homo sapiens, you know the wise primate the intelligent but, but, what's the, but what's the really different really we know stuff we have knowledge of the world and knowledge of the world allows us to change the world and that makes us you know numero uno right. on this in the local environment on this planet because we have knowledge so the reasonable functional cut through the bs definition of intelligence is it is something processes that create knowledge Okay, if it doesn't create okay. knowledge, you shouldn't call it intelligence, artificial or otherwise. I mean, what, that's so ironic. Yeah. You know, they talk about self-driving cars being AI. I mean, what they're trying to do with self-driving cars is get to the level of a, of a, of a flock of swallows. Yeah, and, we, don't, and, we don't call swallows and, intelligent for that. We call them right. good flyers. But, yeah, yeah. artificial intelligence is, is something I like to talk about. I like to think about and philosophize on. At the end of the day, I don't know how we're going to pull it off because... Intelligence today in, on our planet is you know, 7.5 billion different processors running at different speeds at different rates with, different, with, with a slew of different inputs for all of them, right? So how can well, one, what, one processor know what the other processor even acts like or knows about? Well, it's processing. It's not the same thing as, as, as uh, comprehension, as knowledge, as intelligence. You know, so computers today are computers. They crunch numbers. Right. They, they manipulate symbols. They change one form of information into another form of information. But when you do what we've done and found out a way to endow them with something, a very, very rare and special type of information, which is a model of the world, then you've given them something to think about. And in terms of the information processing processes that are needed to take knowledge and comprehend it, expand it, extend it, evaluate it. Computers already do all those things well. They do logic. They do analysis. They do synthesis. They do pattern matching. They do memory matching. In fact, they do all those things better than our brain does as far as we can tell. 